Hey guys, um, so I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Um, recently, I spent like most of the day in bed yesterday because I had to go to the horrible dentist and get this tooth, uh, like a root canal in it, which is not a nice experience. You don't want to have to do that. Um, so afterwards, then it's all numb and you feel really groggy and horrible. So I just got into bed for the rest of the day. Um, and I watched a movie yesterday. I watched two movies at the weekend. I'm just going to do a quick review. Um, one of them is relative. I think two of them are relatively new and one's a little bit older. Um, so I just thought it'd be fun just to sort of share my experiences. And I always like it whenever other people sort of give their opinion on a movie. I think it's quite hard, especially if you're just picking one, you know, in the DVD shop or um legally online that kind of thing so when you're sort of legally downloading from itunes as as you do um you know when you're trying to pick one out of a hat pretty much it's kind of hard just to go oh i'll have that one you don't know what it's about and you haven't heard about it so the first one that i watched at the weekend was perks of being a wallflower which was re like really good amazing is what I was trying to say. I was going to say really good and amazing so it came out really amazing. So yeah it was really really good and basically for those of you who don't know it's like a coming of age story. It's it's kind of starts as a typical teen movie but there is more depth to it. It's about a guy who is, um, I'll not ruin the whole story for you but the storyline which you find out right at the start anyway is that his um, Basically, his best friend killed himself, and he spent some time recovering from that, and then went back to school again. So he's become like a wallflower in school. He I think his friend was his only real friend in school, and he's sort of on his own. And he ends up falling in with a crowd of people who are a little bit different, and they have all these amazing adventures and do all this stuff together, and it's just all about their lives. Um, it has two male actors who name escaped me they're not that well known in my book anyway the main lead female role is emma watson and i actually think she does this really well and um, it's kind of hard to look at her i find it really hard to look at her and see anything but her mani greens are really but she does play this role very well and she's a little bit older and sophisticated in it which is nice and i think she's sort of coming out of that <coughs> harry potter esque and i think the more movies she does like any actress the more movies she does the more you'll view her as something more than a Hogwarts wizard. Um, so I really like that. So in my Cupcakes Guys reading, reading can speak today. In my Cupcakes Guys reading, I think I would give that one 7 cupcakes out of 10. Um, the next one I watched was The Best Margaret Hotel, which is, ooh, it must be about a year old. Um, been out for a while I'm sure it's quite cheap on DVD now um, of course I downloaded it from iTunes because that that's what you do but um, <coughs> yeah it was really good and I think most people have seen it by now or know the general gist of it it's about a pile of old people that get told that they're going to stay in this amazing place in India and it's a lot of people that maybe can't afford to buy anything amazing or they all have different stories and you learn it all throughout the movie and um, there is sad bits, there is happy bits but it's just a really nice light movie that's not it's a little bit serious but it says light entertainment and it has Judy Dench in it as well she's awesome so check that one out I think overall I'd probably give that 6 cupcakes out of 10 and the last one was I can't remember or I can't it was Seven Psychopaths um which was actually my other half's pick but I did actually really enjoy it um it's basically about a group of guys and they kidnap dogs but they do return the dogs again so they kidnap dogs and they return them again but in this instance there's a guy in the movie who isn't what he claims to be and a lot of people don't know who he really is so the movie sort of uncovers this and there's a bit of a twist at the end and it does get a little bit dark at the end but not in a bad way not in a 
leaving you feeling horrible kind of way. It it kind of works out and makes sense. So it is very very funny. Um, there's an Irish actor in there which name the name escapes me, but if I remember, I'll put it down below. I really like him, and I'm crap with names, so I'm probably not the best person to do a movie review because I can't remember any of the actors' names. If you show me their face, I'll go, oh yeah, that's your woman from whatever, or that's your man from such and such. But names escape me whatsoever. <laughs> they just disappear. Unless they're really well known. I just don't have a clue. So, if I say the guy with the Irish accent, could be anyone. Irish, an Irish actor. Um, I'll find out for you anyway. So yeah, out of them all, I think Perks of Being a Wallflower was my favourite. The other two were good as well. Don't get me wrong, I did enjoy them. Um, but yeah, that's me for today. And um, if you enjoy these, I might do a couple more of these because it is nice just to talk about life and not bring you. I was going to say a bad word there. <laughs> not bring you crap loads of hauls, fashion videos, and just bleh, regurgitated stuff that you can get on anyone's channel. So hopefully, if you enjoy these, I'll do a few more. Um, I do read a little bit as well. I try not to completely emerge myself on the internet because it's very easy to do and not to enjoy other things. Um, <laughs> so if you do enjoy these, let me know and I'll do some more of them. Have a nice Wednesday evening. It's half seven, so um, have a nice dinner, supper, have a nice chill out evening or working evening or whatever you're doing. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.